everyone, today I'll be reviewing Enola Holmes starring Millie Bobby Brown and this movie is directed by Harry Bradbear. Uh, I hope I said his name right. It's kind of a weird last name he has. And this movie is about Sherlock Holmes, sister Enola Holmes. This movie is about her and one day Enola Holmes, when she wakes up from her sleep in the morning, she finds that her mom is gone missing and her mom left her some clue to find her. Uh, then she goes to like goes after her mom to find her uh, along the way she finds some other people and this movie is kind of like a coming of age adventure mystery solving movie i really enjoyed this movie so much uh, this movie was quite a delight to watch and what i like about this movie is <laughs> it's so funny when i was watching this movie this movie's production design is absolutely amazing this movie takes place in 1980 and this movie's production design not once i thought i wasn't in that era like the london look amazing in that era uh especially the production design never really not not a single moment i thought this movie might have taken in current age so when i uh watching it i was watching this movie i was thinking whoa netflix has made such a good movie from beginning till the end i was really uh thinking back of my head <laughs> Then I was saved and thinking, oh, that does not sound right, does it? Netflix making such a great looking movie from uh, beginning till the end. Something is not uh, right here. Then I go to Google it and this movie is actually made by Legendary Studio. And they sold this movie to Netflix. Uh, uh, initially, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, how is Netflix making Anola Holmes? Because Anola Holmes is Sherlock Holmes' sister. And I'm pretty sure all Warner Brother is all honor for sherlock holmes movie so it was a created a little bit a dilemma for me so i had to go in and check this so this movie is made by legendary studio who is uh kind of uh warner brothers uh, branches i suppose uh, so like it, that makes sense why would they make this movie and this movie is really best part i mean like, this movie has amazing cast of course but Really, this movie looks amazing. Absolutely. I, I'm really impressed how good this movie looked, especially when the era this movie takes place in. I'm really impressed. And like uh, all these actor, actresses, they really did good job, especially Millie Bobby Ra Brown. She's so popular. <laughs> for uh, like the studio to invest this much money for uh, behind this movie honestly uh she was really good i, I must say uh also some part i felt like she wasn't fit for this role because she's uh 15 i i say uh i, I will get disliked for saying this but some part of this movie required her to do some fighting some her uh, stunt uh i don't have to say this she didn't look like she could take down those people because the because she doesn't look like 16 years old. She looks like 12 years old. <laughs> uh, for that, I, I thought she isn't like the perfect cast for this movie. But I thought uh, Millie Bobby Round, she really gave, gave a great performance. I know I will get disliked for saying this. <laughs> but really, uh, that's what I felt. Uh, this movie is about her and she goes on uh, like uh, then in middle way. She met this boy. I, I felt like... Uh, and when she first met this boy, I thought, oh, because I was really into her adventure, Millie Bobby Round, uh, Anella Holmes, her adventure. So when she met this boy, I was like really distracted by this encounter. I didn't know how to, how I feel about it because I did want it, Anella Holmes to go her adventure, which I was really enjoying it. Like she was solving mystery doing stuff like sherlock holmes so i was really into this but when she meets this boy this movie kind of like uh at first i was like oh what is happening i don't want a teenage drama here but like teenage romance uh but turns out that boy has an important role in the story so like it, it was okay it's no big deal but like when you first start watching it uh it 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 throw you off a little bit <laughs> because you are going adventure with Anola Holmes and this movie is about her and there is a Sherlock Holmes played by Henry Cavill. I think uh, Henry Cavill he did really good job playing this character because there is a so famous Sherlock Holmes played by Robert Downey Jr. and there is also the BBC version the one with the Benedict Cumberbatch which is he also done amazing job. I like both of them. I cannot fix. So here, Henry Cavill. I thought he'd bring 
something different to this character again which was really good i really like the way he played it not like too jokey no serious because he's a big brother here so his performance was perfect i really like and helena bonham carter like uh she wasn't much in this movie but she had some uh, flashback she's amazing actress of course uh I thought her, her, she was really good presence in this movie. I really liked her. And also, I, Sam Claffin, he was the big uh, mean brother here in this movie. And I was like watching his character and I was like, oh, uh, because he's so nice. He's from the Pirate of the Caribbean movie, one of the movie he was in. So he's really nice guy normally plays. And he has done other romantic movies I have seen him. He's always sweet type guy, so handsome. Here yeah, he's such a mean big brother and I was like, oh man, uh, but I thought he did really good job. You can tell him that it's him, that sweet boy. I know him like uh, uh, one movie I have seen him is so sweet in that movie, You Before Me with the Amelia Clark. She was amazing in that movie. Uh, I, I know he's not getting much role these days, is he? Is he? Because that's why he took this role. He's like a really side character in this movie and... Uh, and the boy who played by that the boy who the lord uh i forgot his name i didn't check his name uh at first he felt like uh, he felt uh, i thought he did really good at first he was a little awkward i suppose in the role but then he grown into the character and as he the movie progresses i thought he gave also good performance and overall all of these actors were really good this movie is directed by harry brad bear <laughs> And he has own Emmy for his uh, work. He has done some comedic work like the Fleabag, uh, Killing Eve. Those are not, uh, I haven't seen those shows. I know that he, those are like award winning show he has directed before. I don't see any big film he has done before. So I thought he has done really good job directing this movie. His direction in this movie is absolutely really good. I had no complaint uh, the way he directed this movie. And the direction he wanted to take uh, i really enjoyed it a lot uh overall this movie is quite well done as i said the production design is the best part <laughs> really it's really amazing looking and uh, because most of the time uh when this movies takes place in 1980s uh, first they will show us this nice uh, uh like the, the set pieces you know the costume then halfway movie this thing disappear <laughs> and you're just sitting there thinking what happened to the nice sets <laughs> so many movies are like that so for that sense i thought this movie that gave me really amazing looking set pieces i really enjoyed looking those uh millie bobby brown uh, she was like wasn't perfect cast for this movie but i thought she gave amazing performance overall it was quite enjoyable coming of age movie that i had fun time watching it uh that was my thought on this movie thank you so much for watching this review let me know in the comment what do you think about it and please take care